Hi, and welcome to Wix. This is an introduction to Wix's HTML editor, so you can get familiar with it and learn how to use the tools inside. When the editor opens, your template will display. This is a drag and drop editor, so you'll only need to click on the elements to customize, move, or delete them. The elements you place on your header and footer will be seen on all of your pages. For example, your site's logo and menu. As you navigate through each page, you can see your logo and menu are always visible at the top. This is because these elements are within your header. On the left-hand side, you have all of your site building tools. You can customize your pages, your site's design, add elements, customize your site settings, and visit our app market to integrate third-party apps into your Wix site. The Pages icon will show you all the pages in your site. Just click on one to bring it up in the editor so you can start working on it. You can manage all of your pages here. You can add more pages from here, simply choose the layout you want, and name it. Then you can see it will add to the bottom of your list here. Next, you can reorder your pages by dragging and dropping it in your list like this. To create a subpage, simply grab the page handle on the left side and move it over to the right. This will create a subpage as well as adding a drop down menu under your main page menu. Now, click Page Settings. Here you can delete or duplicate your page. Also, rename your page, hide this page from your menu, set this as your home page, even password protect your pages. Also, customize each page's SEO down here. You can visit our Learning Center for more information on search engine optimization, which is an important part of your site. And last, change your page style here. You can choose from one of our predefined styles, or click Edit Style to customize it even more. For example, if I want to change the style of my page to have rounded edges, I can do this here. Just choose a skin, then customize the page's corner sizes. And you can see all of your customizing options here. When you are done, click OK and Done. Last, you can change your page transitions from down here. Just choose one you like. You can also click the Settings and SEO button down here to update your Open Pages SEO as well. Next, click the Design icon to be taken to your Design Manager. Here you can customize your site's background, colors, and fonts. You can choose from one of our set styles or customize your own. First, click Background and choose one or you can customize it with an image or a pattern. To do this, click Upload and Customize Background. Now click Add Image, and you can choose from one of your already uploaded images, or choose from one of ours. We have patterns and textures for you as well. You can also upload a new image here. Simply choose the image from your computer, and once it's uploaded, select it. OK. Then customize your image scaling and position on the page. Another option is to choose a color for your background. To set this up, click Remove Image here and choose a color from the color selector. You can always delete your image by clicking the Remove Image button. You can also discard any of your changes here. Next, choose the colors you want to use throughout your site. We have color palettes already set for you. Or, you can choose your own scheme by selecting Customize Palette here. Then click on a color to customize it. Last, pick your fonts. Choose from one of the preset schemes, which will format all of the fonts in your site together with one click. Or click Customize Fonts, and you can customize each text style separately, like your header, your paragraph text, etc. You will be able to customize each font style the size and color here. When you are done, click OK. Next, the Add icon will let you add elements to build your site. Take a look through all of the categories. When you find what type of element you want to add, click it and you will see all of your options. For example, I want to quickly add a Facebook Like button to my page. Now from Add, click Social, Facebook Like and drag and drop this onto your page. 
Now use the settings on the left-hand side to customize your Like button. And when you are done, you can click the Back to Add to see all of your elements. The Settings icon will let you customize your site settings. Site address will show you the web address of your live site. Keep in mind, your site will not go live until you publish it. And remember, the format of your free web address will be username.wix.com slash site name. Favicon will let you customize the Favicon icon, which is the icon that appears on the browser tab when your site is open. Choosing your own Favicon is a premium feature. In order to do this, you must upgrade to a package that will allow for this service. Next, the SEO section will let you add meta tags to your site to improve its visibility in search engine results. This is an important part of your site. Once you make your site, you want the right people to find it when searching online. You can learn more about improving your SEO by clicking this button here. Statistics will let you analyze your site's stats and traffic through Google Analytics. This is a premium feature as well. You will need to upgrade and connect your own domain to your site in order to use Google Analytics. Down here, you can disable all non-essential cookies. This is in response to the European cookie law, where all websites must make their visitors aware of non-essential cookies, which are used for analytical purposes. If you disable this, your Google Analytics will be blocked as well. Last, social will let you control the social aspects of your site. You can change your thumbnail, which will let you personalize how your site will appear on Facebook whenever it is liked or posted in a status. Simply click Upload Thumbnail and choose your image. Also, add your Facebook username here. This will let you manage your Facebook plugins in your site. For example, when you use Facebook comments in your site, you'll be able to moderate them on your live site. Next, the Wix app market will provide you with a large variety of helpful apps that you can integrate into your site. These apps are brought to you by third-party companies and individuals. You can find marketing tools, social tools, forms, galleries, and a whole lot more. Go ahead and visit our app market, take a look around, and see if there's anything to make your site stand out. When you click on an element in your editor, its property panel will pop up next to your mouse cursor. From the property panel, you'll be able to customize the element. Each element will have different customizing options. You can always get to the element settings from the property panel. In an element settings, you can find the magnet tool, which will let you connect your elements together temporarily, so when they are resized and moved, they will keep the same composition on your page. Going back to the property panel, you can duplicate your item, move your items backwards and forwards in your page, and delete your item here. Last, you can choose to show this element on all of your pages by checking this box. Now to move an element on your page, simply click, drag and drop it. You can also grab this top handle and drag the item up or down, which will keep your item aligned while moving it. The bottom handle will let you drag downward to make the element bigger. It will also move the other items on your page down, making your page longer. You could do the same thing to make the elements on your page smaller. Simply drag the bottom handle upwards, and the page will resize itself to fit all the elements inside. Now on the top of your editor you will see a black toolbar. You can switch the page being displayed in the middle of the editor from the drop-down list here. And here you can find your undo and redo buttons. You can also copy and paste an element, turn your grid lines and snap to grid features on and off, these options will help you build your site. You will want to place your site's contents within the grid lines for best site layout results. Next, you can preview your site, meaning you can see exactly how your site will look and act in a live browser. Go ahead and navigate through your site as one of your visitors will. Then click Back to Editor Mode to continue editing. The Save button will save your site. Remember to do this every so often so you do not lose any work. Publish will actually publish your site online so you can see it live in a browser. You don't have to do this until you are ready, so take your time. Upgrade will allow you to choose a premium package for your site that will provide you with the extra services you may need, like connecting your own domain, removing the Wix ads, and more. And if you need help at any time, click the Help button here to be taken to our Learning Center. There are video and written tutorials here to help you finish creating your site. 
Last, but definitely not least, if you click on an element, hold the control key down and click on a second element, you will be taken to the alignment and arrange settings. And that's it. Now you're a pro at using Wix's HTML editor. Remember, practice makes perfect, so keep at it.